alone episode nine is done and in this video i'm going to offer my observations as far as the three main reasons i think people keep tapping out so i'm out in the woods today on a walk with my two dogs let's go hi buddy ready let's go and I've been thinking about this season of Alone and then also the last two seasons and trying to kind of put the pieces together to say, what are the common factors about why people tap out? What I'm finding is that there are these three main factors and then I'm gonna throw in kind of a wild card at the end. The first factor I think is just straight up hunger. It's about calories. Um, if you've ever been hungry, just kind of in day-to-day -day life and then you start to get angry, you know, people call it being hangry. So imagine that 70 days in. 50 days in, 20 days in, whatever it is, you know, when you're out in the middle of the woods, you don't have access to food that you can just grab a hold of and eat anytime like most of us do, uh, in the Western world at least. So yeah, just the straight up calories thing seems to really affect people. Now one thing I'll say is that the idea of calories and food is going to connect to the other two observations I'm making. And they all kind of they, uh, there's a symbiotic relationship there. So you have, you know, you're hungry and then that starts to impact another area of life that impacts another area of life, goes back to hunger. So they all interact in that way. But anyhow, the first one is calories. You know, if you don't have enough food, you don't have enough calories, you're tired, you start to feel frustrated that you're tired. And eventually people just say, I just want to eat some good food and not be hungry all the time. So I'm going to tap out. So that's reason number one that I see is kind of a common factor for why people often tap out on loan. I want to be more specific about the food and say it's not just calories or eating something, but eating protein. Because you'll see uh, on all the episodes, there's a lot of opportunities to eat wild edibles. But at the end of the day, people are like, I want meat. I want protein. And that's kind of a make or break thing for people if they can stay in or if they're going to tap out. The next area is all about psychology and really loneliness. So it's not just, you know, I'm thinking about scary things or I'm in my head too much, but it's really missing people and loneliness. Now it's specifically not just I miss being around anybody, but you notice they start naming specific people, my family, my friends, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it is, my kids. Um, so that's another big piece that people seem to tap out over the years is that they miss specific people and they start saying the cost benefit analysis of me being here and what I could possibly get um, as far as the personal victory and then money is not worth being away from the people I love so much. You know, as I'm walking through the woods here, you can probably hear my dogs in the background a little bit now and again. That's just a perfect example. Even if it's not human companionship at a base level, people want to be with some other being. So, you know, that's why I took my dogs for a walk because I like spending time with them. So the first one is all about that food thing, that calories thing. The second observation is people tap out because they just get lonely and they miss being with specific people that they really love and care about. That third factor is the human body. So sometimes it's accidents, like we've seen in two of the seasons, people injure themselves with an ax. So, you know, you get hurt and you gotta tap out. Another thing is when the human body just starts to not work well. Uh, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched episode nine yet, I'm gonna tell you about who went home. But let's think about Dave. He had plenty of fish, but stopped eating because he wanted to save it for the future. And then the doctors came and said, you have to go. You're risking organ failure. You can't say, even if you eat more now, you've gone too far. You gotta get back to medical help if you wanna actually stay healthy and stay alive. The bottom line is some people get injured and like Dave, he got to the point where his body just couldn't handle the stress of it anymore because he wasn't eating enough. There's just this wild card factor of your body that sometimes it's gonna work, sometimes it's not gonna work. Sometimes people have bodies that don't need food as much as quickly even though everybody's hungry and other people do. Now, let me say, I realize that when you hear this, you're probably like, yeah, people being lonely, not having enough food, that's the reason why everybody taps out. But as I've been thinking about it and categorizing it, what it does is it kind of allows you to plan ahead, you know, and to be like, okay, uh, I might have been so concerned about, you know, wildlife or something like that. But these are the big things I got to focus on, like keeping my head in the game and keeping food in my belly. And then obviously uh, injury. And then there's just stuff I can't control. If my body doesn't work, if it doesn't have a certain number of calories, it is what it is. I don't really have any ability to change that because it may just be my genetics. Now the wild card factor I'm gonna throw out there, I think for a handful of people, it was just that they got in over their head. Uh, Desmond in season two, seems like a good dude, um, but he said, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rock it and the bears better be scared of me. And then when he engaged with the bear, he was like, I'm going home. So season one, you had bears and wolves, two guys tapped out pretty early. 
Um, those are wild card factors that, you know, I think sometimes you think I can definitely do this and you get out there and you're like, whoa, this is totally different than what I thought or what I expected. The thing that's hard about alone is that unless you have a lot of freedom in your life and schedule, you can't really train. You can't have three or four sessions in your life. You're like, you know, I went out for 60 or 70 days in the wood to see, woods to see, you know, what I was good at, what I wasn't good at. Um, and here's what I learned. You kind of say, I think I can do it based on some of my experience. And then you jump in and you give it a shot. So. But for me, when I thought about those main three factors of food, missing certain people, and then just kind of how my body works, that helped me to think in the future to say, okay, how can I be proactive to make sure I'm taking care of myself, and if I get in a survival situation, or I wanna put myself in a kind of a challenging outdoor situation, here are ways uh, I can be proactive to be thinking ahead. Here are the, probably gonna be the most significant challenges when I get into the woods. Okay, Alone Season 3, final episode, coming up next week on Thursday. And uh, I'm excited to see it. I'm sure you guys are as well. I'll be doing a commentary on that episode and then the whole season um, in one final video after we see who the winner is of Season 3. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching these videos. I put links to all the earlier commentaries down in that description section, so just click that Show More tab, and then you can click over there and uh, watch those videos. All right, guys, we'll see who the winner is. Stay tuned. Take care. As a little bonus footage here, I'm uh, out walking in the woods where I often do my seminars for wilderness survival, and we've got one of the debris huts that people put together. Um, so I'm gonna walk over here and show you what that looks like. This was made probably a year and a half ago. Um, and it's still standing. It definitely needs some work, but it's still standing. Let's check it out. So here is the debris hut. You can see still have the leaves on the outside. They haven't all blown off or anything. Snow on top of that. And then looking inside, you can see it's still pretty dry. Um, some of the snow has blown in, but this definitely keeps the weather off you at a basic level. This is one of the more simple ways to build a shelter. If you don't have a tarp and you have to make it out of natural materials, it doesn't take five minutes. It definitely takes more time. But uh, yeah, just a little bonus footage there.